Hey, what's up, TGN FPS? My name is Toggle, and most of you probably don't know me. And um, I'm new to TGN, so I wanted to tell you guys what I was thinking about doing on this channel, and a little bit about what I do on my personal channel. Um, I'm really excited about being on TGN, and um, I hope you guys are excited about having me on here. Um, okay, so I post um, all kinds of videos, FPS, Minecraft, um, you know, some other stuff, and I've been posting for quite a while, probably like six months, I would say, and honestly, I'm not very happy about the subscriber base I have. Um, I have 150 subscribers around, and, um, you know, I don't do YouTube for money. That's not what I want to do YouTube for. I want to um, make videos so people watch them and um, that people are interested in watching my videos. And that's not what I've had lately. So that's why, that's the, like, basic reason why I uh, applied to be in TGN. Because they have a huge subscriber base and, um, you know, I'd like to get known in the community. And, I mean, I do have some videos. I have one video that has 10,000... No, 12,000 views now, which is like a huge accomplishment for me, but, um, you know, to most people, that's tiny, and, you know, most of my videos get 200 views at the most, and, you know, every time I post a video, I'll get 200 views. Um, so, yeah, I, I joined TGN to uh, get more uh, viewers, and, yeah, so, um, I post a lot of uh, Call of Duty, a lot of Minecraft, and some Battlefield. So uh, if you guys leave a comment on the video and tell me what you want to see, um, I'll definitely post it. If you want to see anything that uh, you that's not on my channel that I don't usually post, tell me and I'll try to get it done because I'm looking for whatever you guys like. So now that we got that out of the way, um, in this video, because it's my first, I kind of want to talk about Modern Warfare 3 and my thoughts on it. I do already have a video like this on my personal channel, but, um, you know, I thought you guys like to hear what I think about this game. Um, this game is insanely fun. I mean, they have so many things that I love about this game that are just huge improvements uh, than uh, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, all of those. But I do have some complaints, um, and my probab probably my biggest complaint is that it looks so much like Modern Warfare 2. And, I mean, they, they reuse some of the uh, maps in the single-player uh, campaign. If you guys have seen that video, uh, they reused a map from a uh, COD 4 map. And um, they reused a lot of the sounds from the guns. They reused, like, a lot of the textures from the guns. I don't know. It feels like they just cut corners in this game. And, you know, I wish they brought something fresh like Black Ops did, even though Black Ops graphic graphics, not graphics, uh, graphics were not, uh, you know, is that great, but they were something different than what we've seen. Um, you know, World at War was Treyarch's last game before Black Ops, and if you look at the difference between um, graphics, it looks completely different. And that's what I would have liked with Modern Warfare 3, I mean, I would have liked it if it looked more like Battlefield, like, really realistic. Um, but getting used to the game, like, after you get used to the game, you don't even pay attention. Like, it's still an insanely fun game. Um, another thing that, you know, most people probably don't notice, um, is the theater mode is terrible. Uh, Black Ops theater mode was really good, and I don't know what Infinity War tried to do with their theater mode, but they just made it, um, you know, different. Like, the controls are very, um, like... You have to use the D-pad on the Xbox. I don't know about any of the other controls. That's why it might be different for other people. But you have to use the D-pad to control speed, which was um, the uh, triggers on Black Ops. And um, the triggers were so much easier to control speed. Now you have to press right like a billion times to go super fast or left a billion times to go really slow. And um, yeah, I wish they changed that. And, you know, maybe Infinity World will listen to, to the community and um, fix the controls. Or let you have a different control scheme. Another thing that I've noticed on the theater mode is that uh, when you replay your game, if you're holding a gun, it will, like, spaz out. It'll just, like, shake randomly. Sometimes it'll do, like, a 360. And you probably noticed that in the beginning of this video. I know I did. And it annoys me. I don't know if it annoys anybody else. But it's really annoying. 
Um, and then the hit detection on the theater mode is completely different than it was actually live. So, um, yeah, that's another thing that's, you know, a little bit bad about this game. Like, theater mode isn't a big deal because it's just to record, but it's big for commentators and stuff. So now that you've heard the cons, um, let's talk about the pros of this game. Um, this game plays like COD 4, and COD 4 is probably my favorite Call of Duty. Um, besides this, this is probably my favorite now, but, uh... COD 4 was definitely my favorite, you know, it had the, a great campaign, it was like a movie, um, and the gameplay was really, um, I can't even describe it, it was just so much more fun than Modern Warfare 2, which was way too fast paced, way too many, oh, there you go, you see that, um, that's the theater mode thing I was talking about, but anyways, Modern Warfare 2, I don't know what my problem was with, about Modern Warfare 2, too many snipers, I mean, I like to snipe, but it got way out of hand than trick shotting, I'm definitely not the best at trick shotting, but, um, you know, it kind of like changed the whole Call of Duty community, and I really didn't like that. Um, another thing I like about this game is that the point streaks are, you know, completely different. I love how if you try to cap a bomb, or cap a bomb, I mean plant or destroy a bomb, you get um, points. And if you try to capture an objective and stuff like that, you get points. And with Hardline Pro, if you get two assists, you get one kill towards the kill streak. So, uh,. Yeah, and the kill streaks I really like. You know, they're not so high like Modern Warfare 2's and with the nuke. Um, I haven't gotten a Moab yet, but I plan to very soon. And I feel like that's an actual challenge rather than the nuke in Modern Warfare 2, where you could just get a seven kill streak and just get the nuke because of all your other kill streaks that you would unlock. Um, so that basically wraps up this video. I hope you guys liked it, and you guys will see more from me definitely in the future. Uh, go check out my personal channel. I'll link you guys in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video.